good day, happy November, and happy USA's Epilepsy Awareness Month, Team Purple. <laughs> so, so far, I've spoken about memory and communication. And now you know that the effects of seizures can differ from person to person. But sadly, negative cognitive effects are common. So, cognition, defined by the, hmm, the Oxford Dictionary as the mental action of acquiring knowledge and understanding through thought, experience, and senses. Hmm, fancy, huh? So basically, using your brain for thinking, understanding, perceiving, analyzing, etc., etc. All of those type of words. So, of course, the ability to use the brain is going to be affected by seizures or the ugly seizure medications, right? Now, with my undergrad in special education, I learned about the hierarchy of thinking skills, also known as Bloom's Taxonomy. And it goes as follows, from the bottom to the top. At the bottom we have the ability to recall or remember. Then we have understand. Next, apply. And that's using info that you understand in a whole new situation. Then we have analyze. Next is having the ability to evaluate or synthesize. And this is making a new theory or judgment based on what you just analyzed. Woof. Now, finally at the top, at the top, we have creating. Now, how does all of this relate to everyone? So, in our day-to-day lives, we are exercising some or even all of these skills. From being at home, we are at home, school, work, or even social environments, at a party, or even while watching TV. But sadly, the consistent recurrence of seizures, or even one, can affect all of these skills from a tiny bit to a whole annoying bunch. One person could have one of these skills affected, another, two of them, three of them, etc. There are a ton of variations of negative cognitive effects. Now, my team epilepsy can probably tell you things like multitasking used to be easier for them, school never used to be this hard, or now, now I get brain fogs. There are different examples of how Seizures have affected cognitive skills. And all of this connects to my first episode about memory. Because guess what? Now you know that remembering is at the bottom of the pyramid. It is a foundation which makes memory loss even more, more, more annoying. But as I think of my own changes, I try to remember my I can statements. And I also learned this in special ed undergrad because it's important for our students with special needs to know what they can do. No one should be always remembered. No one should always have to remember what they can't do. You need to know what you can do. And for me, I think of it this way. Yes, 
my memory is not as good as it used to be. But if I'm able to compare and contrast or analyze how seizures have affected me or analyze new natural remedies, my brain is not at the bottom of the pyramid. Because it's made it through all of those, I call them electric stresses. My brain has not stopped fighting through every battle. So yes, we can, epilepsy fighters, epilepsy warriors. Your cup, our cup is half full. Remember, think of what you have accomplished, what you have done. Now, another common cognitive effect can be deja vu. (laughs) Now, by definition, let's look at that definition. It's the feeling of having already experienced a situation. Now, in movies, on TV, they can make that seem really cool. (laughs) Something really fun. Psych. It's a crazy, creepy, weird feeling. <laughs> and I can only explain it from my perspective, from what I, how I've experienced it. And I'm going to try to explain deja vu. Mm, um, so it's like I see a little dream or a little movie, a little vision in my head through my eyes. It relates to my current activity, like the definition says. My heart beats a little faster. Feeling of anxiety, stress. It's very difficult to explain. But the number one thing is that it is not cool. It is not fun, anything exciting like they show in movies or on TV. And if one day you went somewhere and you said, hmm, I feel like I've been here before and thought that was deja vu, no, sorry. That was just you questioning yourself. And before epilepsy, I thought those were deja vu. No, I probably would have thought that too, those little cute, oh, have I been here? That I have a feeling like I no, that's not deja vu. Not until you actually experience it that you understand the true seriousness of it. My first time, I thought it was creepy, like I'm going crazy or something, and I'm so happy to say right now that it's been two months <laughs> since I have had one, and fingers crossed. Let's cross as much. Oops. Trying to cross as much fingers as possible. Fingers crossed, this continues. And now to all my epilepsy fighters who experience deja vu, how would you try to ex- explain it to other people? If you want to try to ex- explain it in your way, feel free to comment below. And I'll see all of you next week.